Let's talk a little bit about the don'ts of managing your online reputation. So don't ignore a crisis. If a crisis blows up online and you're trying to put that fire out, one sure way not to be able to put it out is to ignore it. I would always advise my clients to hit a crisis head on. And that doesn't necessarily mean going out all guns blazing and uh, taking over the internet. It means having more considered and discerning approach to it. But certainly it's not to ignore the issue. Because even if you're not speaking about the controversial issue that has blown up online, everybody else is going to be talking about it. And with that, your reputation is going to be hopefully not irreparably damaged. The next don't is do not go on the defense and get angry. You are, and government and public sector are often in the firing line and are often severely critiqued. And again, sometimes people can play the person and not the issue and get personal, but you need not respond in an aggressive or a defensive way. Um, and please do not turn off your replies on Twitter. I've seen that happen too many times that I care to mention right now. But turning off your replies, muting people and effectively saying, we're going to broadcast what message we want. We don't actually care what you have to say. Do not do that. But be prepared to respond and to step out. And then the final don't that I can give you around online reputation is don't ignore it. Understand that it is something tangible. We know the old saying, the old adage, you know, reputation, you can't buy a good reputation, but losing it may cost you everything. And it might take years to win back 